Good evening, YouTube. I want to show you a little bit of a hack, so to speak, that I've chosen to do with this uh, 12 Survivors folding stove. Those of you who are not familiar with this brand, it is, I wouldn't exactly call it some, there's one brand that's specifically called a bush box, but some may refer to uh, other similar type stoves as a bush box. But anyway, so the basic stove kit, and this is all that you can get for it. There are no other accessories. This is the stove body itself. It comes pre-attached. You know, the, the four sides. There's an ash pan. Put the... Align the the tongues on the ash pan with the small slits. These larger slits are ventilation holes. And then, then you just uh, take these hooks on the side and just uh, okay call this a blooper. Actually, I got the ash pan upside down. You just kind of bend up the hooks on the one side so that they align and pop into the hooks on the other like that. So as it is, it's kind of stable, but this includes a grill and this is the support part. And then you put this, see there, there's a, the hole that you feed the wood through and the ash pan hole provides additional ventilation. There's no uh, grate underneath here that goes underneath the ash pan. But I test fitted my uh, homemade alcohol stove in here and it fits perfectly fine with room to spare and it gets ventilation from around it but you can make this more stable. This uh, this little grill fits on top. That not only makes it more stable but you can cook on this. You can put a, a small cup on it but I decided that I wanted to have another option. So, I went and got the tent stakes that came with my uh, tent that I had to uh, throw away because of the rips. And I think one of the rips might have been caused by a coon while I was camping. But I just got a couple of the stakes and uh, I just put them in these uh, like this. And... Uh, Just to demonstrate it with my uh, QT mug, I can still, I can put a, a mug on top of this, like my canteen cup, or say uh, my, uh, yeah, another pot, like from my mess kit, I can put that on there, and if I need to, I can feed from the top. And, you know, I put the hooks crossways like this, or I could uh, just put them like this if I wanted. It works either way. But I just want to include these two uh, tent stakes in here as another option if I did not want to use this uh, grate. this uh, little grill and be able to feed from both the bottom hole as well as the top and still be able to support something like my canteen cup or another uh, pot that uh, is not quite so small. If I was using a small pot or put my uh, one of my steel water bottles I would still use this because that's still pretty small. 
the diameter of that pot is uh, the diameter of that water bottle I'll say is the size of this uh, plastic slinky and you know it's rounded at the bottom not flat like this so that might be a little bit unstable but uh, I just wanted to have another option to use with this particular uh, little folding stove so I just thought I'd show you this little uh, idea and if you have this particular brand this 12 survivors or you have something that's similar and it has a grill or you want to have some way of supporting some pots on it and it does not automatically come with uh, little uh, bars or uh, pieces to go across just get a couple of uh, these are steel tent stakes I would prefer to use steel over aluminum with this simply because of the strength and the heat resistance so yeah I would uh, use these so yeah, these two stakes are a permanent part of the kit for this stove. So I just thought I'd come on and show you that little hack. And uh, so it just gives you an idea. So thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.